Hello. Uh, researchers in Canada have uh, come to the conclusion that sperm whales make their decisions by consensus. They've used underwater microphones and drones to uh, uh, work out the ways in which the whales communicate and their patterns of behaviour. Uh, and they've discovered that they are um, grouped in matriarchally organised uh, tribes or, or clans of, of something like 20,000 whales. But in making their decisions, they all have a say. So that, for example, it took up to an hour for a group of whales um, to decide uh, <coughs> together uh, to change direction. Uh, I think our human democracy also can be very cumbersome and time-consuming, and particularly in a world which is so complex and seems to have so many threats in it, um, we rather look for something a bit stronger than that. We want some uh, way in which government can make decisions that will keep us safe and secure. Uh, and it's very tempting uh, to see that as more important uh, than our human right to have a say. And certainly in some countries, populism is growing. Um, although there's a superficial democracy, in fact, uh, leaders have built themselves up as, as strong and able to make these quick, important decisions, doing away with the cumbersome business of having opposition. Uh, uh, and and, and uh, populism in many countries uh, is growing and indeed uh, is accepted. But I think we need to be careful before we put that kind of strong security uh, high up on our list of what's important than the, the right to have a say. And uh, in this year when uh, uh, nearly half the world's population is having uh, a general election, seven out of the ten most populated countries are all having general elections this year, I think we want to treasure democracy and, and try to make sure that it works. Uh, because although it can be cumbersome, uh, it, it is on the whole uh, a way in which people retain their freedoms of belief, uh, of freedom of speech, uh, 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 any kind of autocracy uh, tends to undermine that. Uh, but I think it's important, uh, even in countries like ours and in the States, that to, to treasure democracy, because it's coming under pressure uh, because uh, we seem to have lost respect for people who oppose us, uh, the uh, the arguments uh, ac across the political parties become increasingly angry uh, uh, and uh, um, uh, personally ag aggressive often, so that uh, so that the idea of, of consensus, which is basically that if you have a vote uh, and you lose it, you accept that you lost, that the will of the majority should be followed, and you you pull together to to produce uh, something creative out of the situation. Uh, th th this is not how politics seems to work now. It seems to be very divisive. And I, I think that can be very undermining of democracy. It can lead us not to trust it, as I, indeed I think is the case with many of the younger generation. And so today I just want to put in a word for, for valuing uh, our freedom of choice, our freedom to decide who should govern us. Uh, because I think that that's... Uh, really of, of fundamental importance in who we are as human beings uh, and, and uh, I rather applaud the sperm whales for being willing to spend the time having the patience to make those joint consensual decisions.